4chan is one of the most controversial websites available on the clearnet. It's a simple website where users can post images, videos, and comments of any sort. It was originally used to comment and speak about different popular anime, but that's not why it's controversial. The website's greater drawing factors are due to its unmonitored and uncensored content and now currently has over 20 million users in 2022. Its community is often seen as toxic, and more often than not, will support events like cyber attacks, bullying, and much more horrific things. Today, we're gonna to be looking over posts that were uploaded by users moments before they would commit something that was unimaginable. The Neil McInnes shooting. Let's start off with the story of Neil McInnes. On April 12th of 2013, an anonymous 4chan user uploaded a post with a picture of the New River Mall entrance. McInnes then wrote down the details of how he was going to commit harm to the people within the mall. Hey B, it's time. My name is Neil McInnes, and I go to the New River Community College in Christiansburg, Virginia, 10 minutes away from Virginia Tech. I'm going to give y'all the details because the news never gets it right. As if to brag about what was about to transpire, McInnes decided to take it upon himself to lay out in full detail what was going to be happening at the mall. McInnes had received his gun license and purchased a Stevens 320 shotgun about a week or so before the incident. I'm a bit nervous because I've never really handled a shotgun, but a few times with the Christiansburg police. Anyways, this is not a high score game, but actually a lesson. That's why I'm at school. I'm here at school writing this. Wish me luck. And heroing is not necessary unless I get fucked out of the ass. It's pretty busy. The 4chan community was really quick to react to try to find out more information about what was about to transpire. As they were trying to scrounge up information, McInnes had already made his decision and was on his way to the mall. Within his post, McInnes actually invited the 4chan community to watch along on his live stream. The live stream, thankfully, did not work during his attack. Three minutes after the post went up, McInnes was already on his way, as I mentioned earlier, to the mall. McInnes drove his car to the mall's entrance and basically blocked the front to ensure that people wouldn't escape as he was going on his rampage. The 18-year-old would walk inside and begin firing at anyone and anything that crossed his path. McInnes would walk around waving his gun in the air, taunting at people, basically saying to come out of hiding. After a few minutes, a security guard would show up and eventually apprehend McInnes after he surrendered. During the shooting, only two people were shot, two of the people being women, and fortunately, they both survived. Granted, you know, there's probably a lot of trauma that comes with getting shot at, but I mean, hey, they lived to see another day and it wasn't taken by a dumbass 18 year old. The 4chan post was eventually taken down roughly two hours later. Now, McInnes is in jail serving two life sentences for the shooting. What gets to me is that there are roughly like 20 comments or so in the thread, basically trying to find out more information or telling him to not go through with it, but there was nothing that they could do and they basically just had to wait until the news reported on what came of the shooting. While nobody died in this shooting, the same is not true for the next case. Amber Lynn Schraw. This one is absolutely sickening to be honest with you. I've seen a lot in my days. I've done a lot, I've read a lot, seen a lot. I'm into true crime, right? I've seen a lot of stuff, but this, this is absolutely disturbing. One of the largest draws to 4chan are its threads and boards that contain not suitable for work content. However, and hopefully, nobody was really excited to see the images that would be posted of Amber Lynn Schraw. On the 14th of November in 2014, a man by the name of David Kalik got into a massive fight with his girlfriend, Amber Schwa. Amber's son, who was 13 at the time, was downstairs playing games to distract himself as the couple fought for hours. Suddenly, things went silent. During the fight, it escalated from being a verbal exchange to a very physical and deadly exchange. In his rage, David would hop on top of Amber place his hands around her neck, holding her down, Amber would then proceed to asphyxiate and die right there. Now, what does David do after doing something so atrocious? 
Well, he decides to post photos to 4chan. David would remove all of the clothing from Amber and post her body on 4chan. He uploaded the images of Amber's body with the caption, turns out it's way harder to strangle someone to death than it looks on the movies. A few moments later, he added a comment on his murder with things like, she fought so damn hard. The next day, he posted, Check the news for Port Orchard, Washington in a few hours. Her son will be home from school soon. He'll find her, then call the cops. I just wanted to share the pics before they find me. Ember's son went upstairs to check on his mom after school, but opening the door would reveal Amber's lifeless body on the bed, fully naked with marks around her neck. David had left the house with Amber's car and hid for around two days. Once the police arrived at the scene, they found Amber's license just above her head with the word dead written on it. Along the wall, David had painted the words, she killed me first, and bad news. It seems that David had understood what was ahead of him, and he was looking for the easy way out. As he posted, I bought a BB gun that looks realistic enough. When they come, I'll pull it and it will be stabbed by cop. I understand the doubts. Just check the f***ing news. I have to lose my phone now. After hiding for two days and traveling nearly 300 miles, he eventually walked into a police station and said, hey, there's a warrant out for my arrest and gave no further details. David is now serving 82 years in prison. The thing that I find the most disturbing about this entire case is the fact that he wanted the child to find her. I think that already more than enough explains how awful this person is. Caden, he murdered somebody. Obviously, yeah, duh, that's awful. Durr, obviously. But the fact that he was, he wanted the kid to find his mom, that's, that is just evil. It's pure evil. Shooter received support from 4chan. In the last two posts, the 4chan users were either quick to dismiss it as like a fake or some people were actually willing to try to step in and prevent the thing from happening, but this one is very different. Instead of receiving backlash or any attempts to intervene what was going on, Robert Hawkins had the full support of people in the thread. One part of me wants to say that they were genuinely in like full support of what he was doing, but then another makes me think that it's just like, them just being like, yeah, Skipper, go ahead and do it, lol. And then they go to like the next thread to comment and almost not necessarily like really egging it on, but they're like, okay, yeah, whatever. This dude's just being dumb, who cares? But hey, it's an anonymous messaging board. I guess we won't really know. Regardless though, whether they were trying to support him intentionally or just dismissing it as some stupid person posting stupid stuff, it's still support to the guy in one way or another. Going back to 2007, just a few years after 4chan was created, a 19-year-old shared his frustrations in some 4chan posts, explaining how he planned to take a rifle to a mall and shoot up the holiday shoppers. Later today, I'm gonna bring my rifle to the Von Mar department store at the West Roads Mall, Omaha, Nebraska, to try to beat Cho's high score. Cho's high score, if you're unfamiliar with that, is directly referring to the Virginia Tech shooting in which he had taken the lives of 32 people. Hawkins explained that he wanted to take his life in a certain way and go out in style. Multiple 4chan users were in the thread basically saying, go for it, do it. And I'm pretty sure one person even in the thread said, hey, it doesn't count unless you go to a school and do it. It's pretty crazy to me that people were so willing to hop in and support an event like this. A few hours later, Hawkins walked into the Nebraska mall to look around. He looked for cameras, exits, and where the security guards positioned themselves. Hawkins walked back into the mall only a few minutes later and opened fire. The 19-year-old took the lives of eight victims and injured five others. The shooting went on for over six minutes as the shoppers hid themselves the best they could. Hawkins would then turn the gun on himself and be pronounced dead at the scene. It was clear that Hawkins was struggling mentally before the shooting ever took place. He had some type of depression and was unhappy with his life. He blamed the world around him for his struggles, and in a final note, he had this to say, I know everyone will remember me as some sort of monster, but please understand that I just don't want to be a burden on the ones that I care for my entire life. I just want to take a few pieces of shit with me. 
After apologizing to his family and friends, he wrote, Just think though, I'm going to be f famous. The truth is, is that his actions have actually brought a lot of attention to him, such as anti-gun lobbying and mental health awareness. So in a way, his wish of being famous is kind of true, but who would want to be famous for shooting up a place? User takes their life live. 4chan has a very large community, and having a large community basically means that there's bound to be people out there that are suffering mentally. And this is kind of amplified a lot on the website. It's not rare to see people mentioning their struggles or how they're currently prepping to take their own lives. Perhaps it's a cry for attention or it's legitimately someone's final message to the world. So, with all of this being said, when a 4chan user took to the site saying that they were going to take their life, this was almost no surprise to the users on it. However, this 4chan user decided to go about it differently. This is it. Tonight, I will be ending my own life. I've been spending the last hour making the preparations, and I'm ready to go through with it. As an who's been here on 4chan since 2004, I thought I would give back to the community in the best way possible. I'm willing to end hero on cam for you all. All that I request is for you guys to link me to a site where I'm able to stream it for you guys. Then, I will gladly fulfill my promise. Within minutes, another 4chan user set up a chat room on the popular streaming site Chatine. The chat room was at max capacity, that being 200 users. Many people were actually still in the thread asking questions saying, Hey, can someone send screenshots? Can someone stream the stream so that way I can see it? I think it's pretty gross that people were cheering on this situation. But I mean, it's 4chan. What can you expect? Users watched as he downed multiple pills along with a bottle of vodka. He had set up the bed in a way that would ensure it could engulf the entire room and started a fire using a toaster. During the event, 4chan users would actually update others that weren't able to get into the chat room by saying things like this. It is happening. And now the smoke is obscuring the camera. So that'll get him soon. Users were actually getting frustrated that they couldn't get into the stream to witness this person taking their life. Soon after, the stream began to fill up with smoke and he couldn't really see anything that was going on, it actually began to clear out as firefighters began to rush in. The identity of this individual would actually be revealed about a year or so after the incident. Initially, there was a lot of speculation going around saying like, oh, who is this man? Many articles were getting tossed out saying that it was this guy, it was this guy. And the identity was never revealed. It was this whole mystery. No one knows who this guy is. Did he live? Did he die? Blah, blah, blah. The identity of the person that would try to take their life would actually eventually be revealed. They go by the name of Dakota Moore. At the time, they were a 21-year-old student going to university that decided to just do that. He just decided to want to do that one day. Soon after the live stream, a link of the whole stream itself was eventually uploaded to 4chan. Or technically not uploaded to 4chan, a link to the thing was uploaded to 4chan. You know what I mean. If my understanding is right, the video has since been lost, but I mean, it's the internet. I imagine that it's somewhere floating around in the ether. The examples that I've shared with you today are just some of the few thousand and probably millions of crazy things that have ever been uploaded on 4chan. Like for example, what about the dude that uh, found a grenade and decided to like microwave it? What about that guy? There's been a bunch of stuff happening on 4chan. So if you feel like I've missed anything, feel free to let me know in the comments below. So that way I can take your examples and maybe even add them into a future video. The thing that's crazy too, is that 4chan isn't even the tip of the iceberg. What if we look at the dark web alternative? 8chan. I imagine there's even crazier things that have happened down there. Before we hop in the end segment though, I would like to thank my Tormented Knights and my Knighted Patrons. For my Tormented Knights, we have Andrea, EB Agent J, Nee, Willow, Shyla. For my Knighted Patrons, we have Brandy, Cherisey, Emma, Envy, Jessica, Lucas, Shizen, Teddy, Timo. Thank you guys so much for your really generous support. It honestly means so much to me. Thank you all. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the video, why not like and subscribe? It definitely helps me out. If you didn't though, why not dislike and let me know what I can improve on for next time. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all in the next one.